Extreme events happen infrequently, and they are extreme because of that very nature that you may not experience it in your lifetime. The question is, how do we deal with them? We had a, an international workshop where we always met with scientists. In our last meeting, we were kind of like envisioning some global community, a kind of social networking to, to start working together on this damage assessment. And then the earthquake happened, and we could uh, activate this initiative. You need to talk to the people anyhow from the emergency management. You can send them maps from ArcGIS. We basically looked at images that were taken before the earthquake, which were, were not as high resolution, high quality. Um, so we did the best we could to compare these images to post-earthquake images to try to see, OK, which buildings are damaged and to what extent. Before the earthquake, you can see this building standing perfectly upright. And then if you look at the imagery from after the earthquake, you could see how completely destroyed and collapsed the building is. One has to see this project as a part of a large international collaboration. And there are companies like Google or Microsoft that uh, donated to get satellite imagery to purchase that and to make it available. My nature is helping people, and this is one way to do it. Sort of in behind the scenes fashion, where I'm not really out there, but I'm analyzing situations and working with a lot of other people. We had the opportunity to approach the World Bank and uh, tell them what we are doing. And they said if we could go down to Haiti and take imagery with a plane, we actually could go and gather our own data that we then could share with the entire community the same way that Google or Microsoft did it. Here you can see where people have set up to live. And you can just see how many people it's affected. This is like just a small number. We really don't know how long they'll be living here. It was very, very difficult. Uh, I got a lot of feedback from the students uh, because the imagery is high resolution imagery. So you've got incredible detailedness of uh, the devastation and also of the misery. And you can really see the importance in what we're doing because it's really important to get an overall view of what exactly happened more than 20,000 buildings that collapsed or were heavily damaged. So the information that we gathered can be used in a way of looking forward. We have the expertise to play a global role as an institution to respond to extreme events and also to plan ahead to deal with extreme events.